Welcome to Lego Mastery. So I know I haven't posted for a very long time. I'm working on a really big project, so it's going to be a while. But in the meantime, I thought I'd bring you guys this video because I know it's going to be helpful for a lot of people and there's not really a great video tutorial on the internet of it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a 12V Lego motor. So these things are really expensive now. They run at least about $50 on Bricklink a piece. And most of those don't even run great. So um, I'm going to show you how to fix all those problems. So first, you're going to take your X-Acto knife and go through all the way around. I would suggest starting with the edges, um, these two back and front parts, and just cutting through all those. And then you want to start on the sides. This part takes a long time. And it's okay if you break a little part like I did here. You can just glue that back on when you're ready. But after that, you're going to want to kind of lift it up on one side and just kind of pry it all off and so i'm going to pull it off like um this and so this will expose all the internals so on the internals we have a bunch of main parts so i'm going to show you how to run all of this so first off there's these two blocks right here and so on these blocks there is a a, um, sorry, there's a A right here, and then on the other block there's a B, and on the bottom you can find that corresponding, um, there. And so here are all of the little contact points. So these, I would suggest sanding these, and uh, I also gave them a little bath and some track cleaner earlier. Um, so I'm just gonna, I just sanded these so they're nice. Another thing you could do is actually make a mold of that, and I hope to do that in the future. So then each of these blocks have this, these two contacts on the sides, and so these provide the suspension for the contacts, and then one main contact that'll go on the motor. Then there's also two wheel assemblies, and these have the gears there, and those just sit nicely in these little holders for them. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is take out your motor, and then um, I have this on hand for my project that's coming up, but I have a 12V battery pack right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on and make sure these are nice. And then I'm going to put one on the top and one on the bottom of this little um, copper part right there. So we're just gonna do, just gonna do that. Okay, um, one of my parts is stuck down here, but it works well. You're just going to have to take my word for it. So you um, are going to see if it runs well. A good way to set it up is to just plop it in here and then test it that way and, like, tape it on with some electrical tape. So if this motor does not work, you can find replacements online, I believe. Um, and then here's the assembly of the motor on the inside. Um, so my motor looks pretty good. Um, so you can just plop that right back in and then um, So after that you're gonna want to take off all the gunk from the wheels There's normally a lot of hair and stuff And so these three things will help you a lot by testing the motor sanding the contacts and removing the gunk Then the last thing that I did was I put some lemon juice on my um, Contact points and that helps get rid of any extra oxidation So that's one of the good things that you want to do so then to rebuild this, we're going to put on the A part first. So you're just going to sit it like that. And also you're going to want to make sure that your contacts sit nicely on the other contacts so that it works well. So this is the ideal setup right now. Um, my contacts fell out, so I'm going to just pop those back in. Um... And, yeah, so we're going to put this on top, make sure everything's aligned properly. Then we're going to take our motor, and you're going to take the side with the copper and put that over the little contact there in the middle. And you also need to align these two metal squares into their slots. And they go the tall part first, I believe. Yeah, so you're just going to scooch that all the way down in there until it gets nicely in there. And then, oh, I forgot to put in the wheels. I'm so dumb. Here, let me do this real quick. Just, you're going to want to put on your wheels. Sorry. That, that tends to be important. Um, 
And then we're just gonna snip this top part on. Here, let me pull out the motor. Yeah. And so you're gonna wanna, once again, you wanna align these little squares with their contacts. There we go. So now we have our motor and everything is all nice and situated inside. Now we're gonna take our last part and you want this contact to sit over the motor on top of it and the other one to sit on the bottom. And then you have all this assembly. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and then also there should be um, a little top part. Mine fell out and I don't know where I set it down. But you're gonna wanna take a little top piece and put that in there because it'll fall out. And then you're just gonna put this back on top glue it together and put on any scrap pieces that fell off while you're making it and then that's how you fix the 12b motor so i hope this tutorial was helpful for anybody um if so yeah if the motor doesn't work you're gonna want to put in a new one it's great because you don't need any soldering which is okay um but yeah i hope this tutorial is at least helpful for somebody because these things tend to be not so fast these days and they're so expensive that you want a really good one. So, um, yeah, I'm going to throw this back on my inner city, and it will be beautiful. So, yeah, thanks for watching my video. Um, you guys are going to have to hang tight for my next video because it's really taking a long time, so don't expect a lot from me for the coming weeks. Um, I'm really sorry this drought of content, but, yeah, that's just the way the ball bounces sometimes. The cookie crumbles. Oh, yeah, have a good day.